Today, Valve trademarks Half-Life 3. Everyone commence the dancing. This is Checkpoint. Welcome to Checkpoint, where I've been enjoying GTA 5 online. Whoa, 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 whoa. I am done talking about GTA 5. We've been talking about GTA 5 forever. Why don't we talk about Shin Megami Tensei 4? That game came out last month. And I haven't been able to talk about it because you've been talking about GTA 5 this whole time. Uh, what would you like me to do? Talk about how wonderful it is. Shin Megami Tensei 4. It's a game. Good enough. The International Red Cross wants to make war games even more realistic than they are now by including the Geneva Convention. Okay, okay, that may sound like a bit of a buzzkill, but consider this. In real life, shooting civilians, torturing people, or stealing a dead soldier's dog tags are war crimes, not things you get chivos for. Electronic Arts is looking to add modding to the new SimCity. Yay! But there are some problems with the always online thing. Boo. Right now, they plan to allow cosmetic mods, yay, but no gameplay changing mods, boo. Now, to their credit, they're putting their current plan on the SimCity user forums and soliciting feedback before they make anything official. Their concern is someone making a building that just generates infinite pollution and ruining a whole region. One solution that's been suggested is a special mod server where anything goes, or as we call it, an Armageddon hellscape where life will never flourish. Worried that your Oculus Rift will gather dust because there won't be enough games to play on it? Fear no more. Vorp X is a new stereoscopic 3D driver that's compatible with DirectX games. That means you'll be able to play games that are already nausea-inducing like Bioshock Infinite and Mirror's Edge and glorious, immersive, extra wibbly-wobbly, head-bobby 3D. Can you excuse me for a second? You may recall from an earlier story, back when this was a different show, that when Square Enix bought Eidos, Eidos's then head honcho Ian Livingston was installed within the Squeenix corporate structure as Eidos's life president. And by life, he apparently meant the life of a field mouse, because just four years later, he is resigning to tackle philanthropic work. I don't think it's that easy. I'm pretty sure it's like one of those religious things. You can say you're not life president, but you are. At last, our long nightmare is over. Valve has filed to trademark the phrase Half-Life 3 in Europe. So that means the game is definitely finally happening and absolutely coming out, right? Wrong. Companies file for trademarks all the time, and a trademark isn't a guarantee of a final product. Remember, if you will, Chrono Break. Squaresoft filed a trademark for the term back in December 2001, leading many to assume a third Chrono game would finally be made. It was the source of so much speculation the title got its own entry in the official Square FAQ. So what happened? Nothing. The trademarks all lapsed in 2012, and the Chrono franchise is still as dead today as it was when the trademark was registered almost 13 years ago. What's the moral of the story? Hope is meaningless and life holds nothing but disappointment. Uh, shouldn't the moral of the story be don't get excited about a trademark? Yeah, I like mine better. Coming up, further proving that the mighty number no. 9 is in no way connected to Mega Man whatsoever, the sound composer for Mega Man 2 has joined the game's team. Seems legit. Oh hey, just a reminder, the Loading Ready Run Kickstarter is still ongoing, and we're looking at adding a new stretch goal where for all of 2014, I will not wear pants. Whoa, 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 whoa. How much to get you to wear pants all year? What are you saying? Well, I'm just saying it's not very... Wait, I have a better stretch goal. For all of 2014, I will not wear pants. That's the same... You're not wearing pants now. Exactly! This is a mere fragment of the pantslessness they will receive. That is assuredly a violation of, well, many things, but not the least of which is the Kickstarter Terms of Service. You did not share my vision! 